going to switch focus a little bit and we're going to talk about software as a service. And usually helps when I start drawing here. And I'm not a good artist, so be prepared. But we are going to put nice drawings up on the website at cloudcomputingprofessionals.com so you don't have to worry about this as your reference point. You can just go and download our, good, our nice, uh, cleanly done diagrams over there. But most of our customers grow up with, they've got maybe a couple of desktops here, and maybe they've got a laptop here, and eventually they get to the point where these people are all working as one, and they decide it's time to get a server. And this is my awesome server diagram right here. And all these computers are connected together with a server. And on our server, you know, we've got our email, and maybe we've got our files, and in addition to that, every company that we work with tends to have one um, primary application. We call these a line of business application. And that line of business application is, it's the one piece of glue that holds the whole company together. So we start off here and we get to this point and then all of a sudden, you know, we got internet connections and everybody got high speed internet connections. So we've got our connection out here to the internet. That is an awesome internet picture right now. So we've got our server, we got everybody connected to the internet, things got a little crazy with security stuff, so then we all had to build in firewalls here in the middle, got to keep our users protected right there. And so this is kind of the network that the majority of our customers have built over the last 10 years. What cloud computing and software as a service as a component of this does, it says, you know, instead of building up this server infrastructure here, because this could be one server, this could be... 10 servers, depending on the size of the business. What we're saying with software as a service it says instead of having email here, let's take the email from there and let's move email out here onto the internet. And now our users can still get to it through the corporate network, but they can also get to it if they've got their laptop sitting at home with them, you know, because they can still get out to the internet. So they're still good there. Well, that's step one. Step two is, well, okay line of business application, maybe we're going to replace that with something like Microsoft Online CRM. And we're going to use that to control all of our customer data and put all that stuff out on the internet. You know, now we've got files out there and the files are feeling pretty lonely, so we can move the files out there. We could use something like SharePoint Online and move our files out to the internet. And now at this point, the server is really just mostly handling uh, security functions for the office. But we don't necessarily even really need the server anymore. You know, it, 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 the server could go away at this point now that we've got all the software as a service out of the internet. We've been doing spam filtering for years as a cloud service, so it's, when all the email comes in for our customers, it's always been routed through the servers, the spam servers out here on the internet, and then it routed into the customer network. Now all we're doing is we're still doing the same spam filtering here. We're just routing it back to where the email lives in the cloud. The advantages of us routing everything around through the cloud is email doesn't consume bandwidth that could be used for other things. A lot of our customers have voice over IP phone systems or they have other applications that are out in the cloud. They need their bandwidth dedicated for that. And 99% of all email is spam. So we might as well stop it before it even makes it into the customer network. We can also deliver better service by doing it out in the cloud because there's no maintenance on software. There's no licensing renewal fees that we had to pay. There's no uh, maintenance or worrying about hardware failure from an appliance that's on site. You know, having it out in the cloud and let somebody else deal with it is a much better solution.